So I saw a couple days ago that Wuthering Ways put out a new showcase for their new character. And I was like, you know what? Is this their first one? I wasn't even sure. And I looked back and they actually have like four of them already. So today we're going to be checking out all of the Resonator showcases. There are only four in total, so it's not too grand yet. I'm sure it will be in the future. So we're going to start with Sanhua or Sanhua, ever so pure. This is the very first one. And this is about, I believe, like five months ago. Many associates know with coldness and demise. Well, I wouldn't but to me, say that. It's the only untainted white. Anomalous visions. She trapped? Exorted nightmares linger in my eyes. Sad. All that once corroded me. Now, be frozen in ice. Oh, all right. Like the music. Dang. Blizzard breaks out in an instant. Ooh. The classic ice spin. My shackles are no more. May our world be clean as snow. Ever so pure. Oh, I see. So quick thoughts on each one before we go. I really like this one because I kind of have the same idea of snow. Where... You know, when it's like snow coming down from the sky and it just lands and it starts to accumulate, it's so bright and it, it kind of has that cleanliness sort of like feel to it. I don't know how to explain it, but exactly how she explained it is how I feel too, where it's like snow is clean and it, it sort of speak, right? Like if you were to brush up against the snow, it's just bright white snow. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but like I get what they're trying to say, or what she's trying to say at least where snow just fear feels pure and it feels like it's clean so to speak i don't know it's the only untainted way i don't know i kind of like felt the whole snow vibe with this one so i like that one the next one is alto 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 two a's in there but it's called a popular demand all caps okay alto alto Let's try this one last time. How did you get that intel? Well, I... That is... Oh, okay. Come on, fellas. Can't we just talk this out? I didn't expect that voice from him. It's like the mist. A mixture of truths and lies. Truths. But a broker of my expertise can easily pick out the goodies. Guess that's why I'm in such popular demand. Ah, I see. Borderlands? Eager clients yeah. are just... Uh oh. Nonsense! I thought you were interested in becoming professional brokers. This guy's a now, troll. You better listen up. I'm an honest broker of information open to negotiations. They're the killing right it with the soundtrack. But if you try to hustle a deal, then I'm afraid you've outstayed your welcome. It's very like hip hop esque. Now you see me. Now you do. Disappear or teleport? Hey, stay focused. And that is my rule of thumb. Or both. Phew, enough of me lecturing. Thanks for coming. Well then, it's oh, your dead. time to shine. Why don't we start with your client? I'm surprised he even got locked up in the first place. It's probably just all a ruse. Black guy, I'll be honest, I didn't think he was gonna be like the that kind of guy. Based off like the just with his head down looking like he was, you know, all locked up, but 
yeah, clearly he's stronger than anybody else that was in this video. <laughs> so, but yeah, he had the ability to teleport like out of dangerous situations. It'd be cool if he like could teleport out of like a counter. Like if he's about to get hit, he'll like kind of teleport out, and that's like his like counter, so to speak. But it's so fresh for this game because like I don't really know how things work, so seeing the combat doesn't really mean anything to me because I don't really know, even know how the game works. Like, I don't know if there's like a ultimate and a skill or like a sub scale or something. It just I just see him going crazy, you know. So that was a good one. Uh, I think it was a little bit more maybe a little bit more creative than the last one. But I think I still like the first one though, still. So. so now we have Dungeon or Dungeon, Dungeon, a Wayfarer's Escapade. We were in two ice zones that last one, so let's see what happens this time. On the frontier, Jingjo rests where perilous fog does crest. Dangerous beasts may hide, they say. Bandits to <laughs> look at the blades do slay their hats, perhaps a wayfarer's escapade. I like how the title is always in the trailer. Seeking foes yet unknown, a maiden journeys all alone. Kind courier offers a ride, she gladly partakes. This looks nice. Ahead they go, fog fading in their way. Criminals lurk, plotting schemes, counting games. Our maiden vows to foil their plans. Like rabbits, they flee. Uninvited crooks she seeks. I swear it's like Borderlands. Oh. Her flower girl. My patience finally paid off. Oh, dang, I like that transition. Judgment. Look how she was actually moving outside the letterbox. That's cool. Eradicate. No mercy. Dang, he's not playing. they <laughs> sway. Pure as ever, she wipes her face. Don't trust her. Adorned with jade, dispelling fear, bringing hope near. Don't mess with Jade. It's not Jade, but <laughs> that's not her name. That was a good one. Uh, music was just very dubstep esque. And she had a very, like, oh, very nice, very kind demeanor. And then it was like, it's, it's go time. But. I don't know. I think I like. I still like the second one, probably the best so far. I will say I like how they had the letterbox, um, which is the two black lines, the top and the bottom, and it was really cool how like the things kept popping out over the letterbox, which kind of like breaks your your uh, sense of like what's happening within them when things happen outside of them. So that's like a little cool effect there, just from like a, a video standpoint. But yeah, now on to the last one. So this is their most recent one. This is Jian Sing. Jian Sing, a decent challenge. Tea and snacks as usual, please. Coming right up. Is that a robot? A steadfast companion to the people <laughs> of Jinja. Thank you, John Shin. We find John our Shin. young monk laboring at the tea house. The tea's as good as ever. Uh oh. <gasps> Not the dishes, or the cat. With such mindfulness and integrity, diligently she earns her keep, far from the mountain of her upbringing. Hmm. Palatable. He would have learned on his feet. But alas, it cannot compare to the Yin Lu tea. How do you make that tea? Enlighten me, please. I'll serve it as you wish. Oh, such nerve. Oh? I'll have you know how its exquisiteness transcends your meager comprehension. To begin with, 
One must carefully gather the morning dew from lotus leaves <laughs> on the heads of gull puffs. Okay, Without step one. Agitating those delicate creatures, or the water won't taste as fine. Then, only oh my the pristine sheets from elusive teal frill nests. All this for tea? Treacherous peaks will suffice. That bird would not. No. Finally, the tea must be roasted with ancient urea wood. Bro. Hailing from perilous domains, ripe with ferocious beasts. Ain't no one doing this all for some tea. Here you are, looking like a decent challenge. Title screen? Serenity. Clarity. Tranquility. She like. She has like balls. It's like a wind type. Cleanse primal vision. Gather cosmic force. Yep. Or gravity. Revelation. Oneness. Oneness. I have no idea. <laughs> and that's why it's impossible to. Sir, here's the Yunlu <laughs> yep, tea. There you go. As you instructed. How do you like it? Shut him up real quick. <gasps> this. This is the. He didn't even question. <laughs> this divine is the boss of any tea I've ever had. Another day, another progress. Oh, not you again! Stop! Stop! Come back! What the hell? Cat and the troll. Okay, that one was definitely the best one out of the four, for sure. Um, I love the idea of like the the comedic value of it. I love the. You'll never be able to make this tea. You gotta go out and get the morning dew without disrupting certain animals. You gotta fight this giant bear. You gotta climb the tallest mountain in the land. You know. Like, you gotta do all this stuff just to make the tea. And he's like, that's why you'll never get... There it is. Boom. Um, but yeah, once again, it's just cool to not really know how the game works. Because seeing all her abilities, it's like, it's I don't really know what is what. So you just see a whole bunch of cool moves and cool stuff. And you don't even really know what it caters to. So... It's just going to be cool to actually get into the game and see, like, what exactly was what. Like, what was her ultimate, or what was this, what was that. Um, and the areas do look vast. They do look pretty nice. I will say the game does definitely give me a Tower Fantasy vibe with its art style. And, you know, hot take. I actually enjoy Tower Fantasy. I actually thought it was pretty fun. Um, you know, like, with friends. It just didn't have like the longevity to keep me playing, but I actually did think it was fun. So just because a thing looks like Tower Fantasy doesn't actually mean a bad thing for me. Um, I actually enjoyed that game. So I'm just saying the art style for Wuthering Waves kind of looks very similar to it. It looks very similar to a lot of like the gacha games that we've gotten in past times where like they're just like an open world gacha. But this one though, you know, the devs are really respectful and they're open and listening to their fan base. So just that fact alone gives me so much hope for this game. So, but besides that, the trailer was good and I would probably pick this one out of all four of them to be the best one, a decent challenge. So we'll be trying to follow along with the newer ones that come out now that will be caught up, but there you go. There were all four of the Resonator showcases. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about them. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll be looking forward to the next one. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. But with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one.